So six out of 10 sunscreens apparently failed the sunscreen protection test. But how accurate are those numbers? So there are two types of testing mechanisms when it comes to sunscreens. There's in vitro and there is in vivo. In vitro is tested on artificial human surfaces, like on a slab under a spectrometer. In vivo is tested on actual human skin. In vitro can actually fully match or even underestimate an SPF protection factor slightly, but it depends on the actual test used. And this is where brands refuse to be transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen some internationally recognized sunscreen testing mechanisms. At this point, it is still quite difficult to know which exact testing mechanism your favorite brand has used. So Kiosk has been super transparent with me that they use the ISO 2443 testing mechanism, which is a highly effective UVA and broad spectrum testing mechanism. Some of my favorites were the tinted mattifying sunscreen and the 100% pure mineral sunscreen. I'll link that in the description below so you can see who I think is best suited for and a lot of people have also shared their comments below. Transparency is very important and it is your right to demand a company to get that kind of information.